YouTube, what's going on? What do we have here? It is a 2023 Hyundai Elantra, but with the end model, as you can see right there in the front. All right, let's do a quick walk around. Y'all are probably wondering what color is this? Well, it is in the beautiful cyber gray. It's almost kind of got like a Audi Nardo gray or a maybe BMW Brooklyn gray to it. But nonetheless, this color is beautiful, especially coming out for the newer Hondas. I like that. Keep going, Hyundai. Start off here with the beautiful headlights. I love how they have this edge coming up here with a slit. So it's kind of like a two-piece design in a one-piece headlight. See up here, that right there is the parking lights. And right here, you see it? That is the turn signal. Now the headlights are a beautiful LED. When you have a vent and you see this passageway, it's for brake duct cooling. So you see it, the passageway to the brakes. Cross, you see the front lip it's got a nice red stripe in the front. Now, this is a signature to the end models. The base model Elantras will not have this. The front grille, I like how the center has got these arrows pointing all to the middle. Better view of the front, as you can see behind there. That is a nice front mount intercooler right there. Looking a few years back, you would definitely not see a Hyundai Elantra look like this. Coming down, you see the beautiful Enki RPF1 wheels. Now these are custom fitment for this car that the owner has specced out himself. And I believe this is the first Hyundai Elantra N with the Enki RPF1s. They fit just right. Not sunken in, not too far out. Now he has his Enki RPF1s wrapped in the beautiful Kumho v730 tires which are really sticky i'll show you the tread pattern in a minute the tread on that tire these are 5x114 lug pattern with a 45 offset and 18 by nine and a half all around wrapped in 265 35 18 tires super sticky you would never believe that this car's front wheel drive while driving it e the big brakes with the nice n logo these are a 14.2 inch rotor. Fun fact, they are bigger rotors than a C5 Corvette Z06, a previous car that the owner of this Hyundai Elantra used to have and was a avid Nürburgring racer as well. You can see here on the side skirt, it's got the nice red striping as well. With that end logo, you can see right there. On the back, you can see this beautiful spoiler that is factory. Now, I'm gonna go a little bit forward. On the G80 M3s, you can get the spoiler too, and on the G82s. So, hey, don't at me, people. But uh, the spoiler really fits this car well. Let's get a side profile. I like it. Here on the tail light, it's got a light bar. It almost looks like Jody LaForge from Star Trek. You got the rear diffuser factory as well with a third brake light and the exhaust is factory as well And it has a nice exhaust note The pipes on these this is factory All right, let's pop the hood and see what's under this Engine in all its glory. It is a two liter Turbocharged inline four-cylinder that produces 276 horsepower and 289 foot-pounds of torque now this engine is underrated from the factory, so it makes more than what it's putting out. So this car, like I said, it feels like it's all wheel drive or rear wheel drive, but it is in fact a front wheel drive car. So small mods to this thing, 300, no problem. And that's 300 wheel. See the charger back here. I like how it's got a nice heat shield to dissipate the heat a little bit. 
and you got your turbocharger right there. Kind of around to the intake box. Owner has added a oil catch can, which is a good setup for turbo cars to catch all that blow by. Let's check out the interior now. Whew. Got your nice Alcantara on the door panel. You got your switches here for your trash control, lane departure, or your lighting. And that's for your instrument lighting. Beautiful leather wrapped steering wheel with the paddle shifters and the end buttons for the different modes with the NGS. NGS stands for end grin shift. You got your blue stitching in the steering wheel as well with your end logo. The beautiful factory bucket seats that come with this. Now, if you get the Veloster end, you have option to get these seats or the regular seats. This comes factory with this car, this seats. It's got a nice blue stitching leather with the Alcantara in the center. Check out the sunroof with the beautiful black headliner. And also, it is a little bright still outside, but these seats in the center light up. You see in the dash, let's turn on to show y'all. You see it with the different modes and the infotainment. I like that digital gauge in the center. I'm sure you can see that lap time in, your G's, your tire pressure, turbo PSI. Really nice. I'm in control. You got your shifter with the end logo right there. Your different drive modes here, your camera. Press that, see that? That's for the rear. Glove box down here. Put all your documentation in there. Got a center armrest, very nice. And a regular e-brake, which is great because I don't like the electronic parking. It's just, yes, it's great for the new technologies, but I think this having a e-brake for a handbrake versus a electronic is better. That, But that's just me. All right, let's come to the back. Same with the Alcantara on the door. Back seats, it's almost like the front with the Alcantara in the center. Really nice. And also, still got the new car smell. This is a 2023. Now, not a tall guy, but for, you know, anyone under 6'5 or 6'6, six, six, I think they'd be okay in here. Who's really that tall anyways, unless you're a basketball player. So, lots of space. I feel like I'm in a spaceship. Nice headrest. Matches the blue stitching in the seats. We're going to listen to what this sounds like. Right there, that's factory. Can y'all believe that? The, modif the exhaust has not been modified. Let's get a couple of revs. Man, that sounds good for factory. How the times have changed. You can't even get that 10 years ago. Maybe even 5 years ago. The only car that came with a factory exhaust like that was a, a Dodge Neon SRT4. This is going to conclude my review of this glorious 2023 Hyundai Elantra N. I'd like to thank the owner for letting me check out his beautiful ride. And if y'all want to see more of this car or his other car, check out his channel at BZ underscore builds. I'll have it in the description below. All right, y'all.